Uh, good morning, everyone. Welcome to CF 101. Um, before we introduce ourselves, I, I would, uh, we would like quickly thank uh, the people who submit the track to submit uh, talks to this track, even they are not here, uh, because that's what really enabled us to build such good quality track here, which covers lots of important uh, topics. Uh, I'm Dr. Xu Jiao Gao. You can call me Dr. Gao or XJ. Uh, I'm a client lead from Stack and Win. And I'm Jared Ruckel, Director of Marketing from Pivotal. Uh, got an exciting set of things for all of you to go through today. And as we were going through and reviewing all the awesome submissions, uh, we wanted to have a couple of you know, things in mind. We had uh, all kinds of submissions about security and some more kind of advanced topics. There was a bunch of things about you know, Kubernetes. And uh, as we uh, settled on the, the talks that we did select for all of you in the track, uh, three things really stood out when Dr. Gao and I were reviewing uh, the talks. And so as we go through the sessions today, as well as the sessions tomorrow, we'd love for you to keep three things in mind. We talked about is three the right number, maybe it's two, maybe it's four, but three seems like a magic number when it comes to these kind of a thing. So um, first up. Uh, yeah, um, yeah, actually I had like more than 10 nice things about this track in my mind. And we talked, okay, three will be the magic number because you probably will still remember what are these three things after you work out this room. So first one, you can run many kinds of apps on CF. So when people talk about Cloud Foundry, we usually mention cloud native apps, 12-factor apps. Um, however, uh, it's not quite true that Cloud Foundry is only for cloud native apps. Richard from Pivotal is going to give uh, a talk on uh, different type of apps we can run Cloud Foundry, so you will come out with a checklist what workloads you can run with you after that session. Uh, it's a deep dive session this afternoon. And there's also, uh, Richard will talk about this in a few of the sessions tomorrow, we'll talk about how Cloud Foundry has really become a wonderful platform for .NET applications. Uh, there's .NET Core, which is kind of the, the new way to run .NET apps on top of Linux. But if there's also .NET Framework applications, you can run on top of Cloud Foundry as well. And you really have this multiplier effect when you put more and more kinds of applications on the platform. So as Dr. Gao mentioned, Cloud Foundry has always been great for 12-factor apps. But now, if your app has maybe four or five factors, it can run on the platform too. So lots of innovation happening from the community about how all kinds of different applications with maybe multiple application ports can now fit on the platform, pushing Docker containers on the platform, all kinds of innovation the last few years to make the platform more accessible for a broader set of your application estate. Yeah, uh, the second thing we would like uh, uh, you keep in mind is that CF include guard drills to make you more productive, efficient, and secure. Um, secure, productive. So with CF, uh, developers uh, can only focus on code, so focus on creating your apps. So you don't need to worry about how to build it, how to run it, how to scale it. With this focus, it, uh, it makes developers more productive. On top of that, with CF, the application deployment Deployment cycle reduced from like uh, for some companies even from years to weeks, from months to to days. So it's very efficient. Um, t um, tomorrow at 11:45 at this room, Charlie Baum from Comcast is going to give a talk how they deploy and manage like multiple production CF environment in a very efficient manner, which like bring lots of uh, business uh, b business re uh, review to, to, to them. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, and uh, I think uh, in, in the past, you may have heard some things about Cloud Foundry. It's a opinionated platform. There are contracts and how different components work to each other. Um, but we like the term guardrails, so it was pretty cool for us to hear uh, Schwab, who's adopted Cloud Foundry at scale, 
use the actual word guardrails. And guardrails, when you're driving on the road, they help keep you on the road and you know, moving forward and you know, getting where you need to go. And when you think about you know, what Cloud Foundry does, when you have code on your developer's laptop, and then you want to get that into production as fast as possible, there's no system on earth better than Cloud Foundry for that type of use case. And these guardrails make it happen. So we'll talk about you know, service brokers. We'll talk about you know, some of the other dimensions inside of Cloud Foundry that are these guardrails that you should know about. Um, they're there for a very good reason, and they can help you achieve better business outcomes a lot faster than some other uh, runtimes and applications and abstractions you may be looking at. And then finally, yeah, uh, it's very easy to get started with CF. Uh, so you can use Bosch to deploy CF on different IIS. It, it's very easy. Bosch takes care of many things for you, like self-healing, uh, all that. Um, also, there are lots of different options in community, like how you start with CF. There's also good community support, like the one I mentioned earlier, uh, Charlie Baum from Comcast, he's going to share a way how they deploy, manage with CF. Uh, also, like for the people are very familiar with Kubernetes, there's also a CF containerization project which allow you quickly deploy this CF on your Kubernetes to, to start to use it. Um, last thing I can think of is using deploying using CF uh, doesn't really require lots of a learning curve. So that's a nice thing. So today, uh, the first talk um, will be given by Tyler Bird and Tyler Poland from Stark and Wayne. Yeah, you see that we do HA everywhere <laughs> we can. So we leverage this uh, Tyler replication. <laughs> so they will share with you just in 30 minutes, no matter you are Cloud Foundry owner, or you are a developer, or you are an operator, they will be able to share with you in 30 minutes what you need to know to get started with CF. Then after that, Jules from IBM will actually do a hands-on, show you, okay, now you have the CF, how you're going to build your application, how you're going to manage it, how you use it with service, all that, in 30 minutes for the lab hands-on. I believe after those, you, you will even agree more with me, oh yeah, it's easy to get started with CF. Uh, and then uh, there are a lot of options for thinking about how you might want to run CF inside your organization, open source, commercial options. There's a vibrant you know, community with different ways to, to do things with hosted options, multi-tenant options, single tenant options, and so on. Uh, also, hopefully, we uh, hope you'll agree that it's, um, Cloud Foundry is a welcoming community, and it's also easy to get started not only with the platform itself, but as a part of the community. So yes. we'll have some talks uh, uh, to kick off tomorrow about being part of the community, and uh, hopefully you've gotten a good sense of that in your time here with the CF Summit so far. Uh, so with that, um, Dr. Gowan, I hope you really enjoy the sessions today and tomorrow, and I think we're ready for the H.A. Tyler show? Yes. Yeah. Okay. <laughs> yes, thank you very much uh, for being here. <laughs>